Hello, my name is Christoph Moldaschel. Uh, we are here at Miroslavice Aerodrome and today we are skydiving with a new Pilatus Sporta PC6 which is here uh, for the whole season in Poland, the first time in Poland. And we can take with this machine 10 skydivers with us. It's a so-called short takeoff and landing uh, airplane which makes it possible to land in a very short distance, to take in a very short distance and to climb up to 4000 meters in about 15 minutes. And let me show you some inside. The skydivers enter the plane, they open the door and here is space for 10 skydivers, uh, which 5 can sit on the bench and 5 sit on the floor. And when they exit the plane, they open the door and they jump from 4,000 meters within about 50 seconds until they open the parachute which is about 1,000 meters and then they have two or three minutes on the parachute to land here in Miroslavice. Here a view from inside the cockpit. Our engine has 550 horsepower and this is a PT6A27 turbine engine. Pilatus Porter PC6 is built for 50 years. And have a look at all the instruments here. It's a standard instrumentation. Here we have the turbine instruments. When we start the engine, we have this is a turbine engine. Then, first, we have to reach a certain RPM until we can inject the fuel. And uh, here you have explained what we have to look for. The torque meter of the propeller. Here we have the interstage turbine temperature. Here we have the RPM of the prop, the RPM of the gas generator, fuel flow, oil temperature. Over here we have the communication panel. We have a VHF radio, another VHF radio. Here we have a DME, ADF, a transponder, a GPS. Over there some more f uh, engine instruments. Fuel totalizer that we can see which fuel we have used. We have the fuel quantity for the left tank, for the right tank. We have the battery DC, ampere meter, a hops meter for the total hours counting. Over here down there is anti-ice, the external fuel pumps for the left tank, for the right tank, cockpit fan communication panel, over here the annunciator panel, we have an altimeter, we have a secondary altimeter, a vertical speed meter, and over here the primary flight instruments, this is the artificial horizon, the airspeed, and these instruments, they communicate with he here over there. It's a instrument for uh, radio navigation, which we don't use in the power operation. For starting the engine, we need this panel over here on the left side. This is the starter with the igniter. This makes the engine to reach a certain RPM until we can inject the fuel. We have the booster pump, we have a generator over here, we have the battery master and to reset the generator is the generator reset. Here is the light panel, the beacon, lights for the left and right wing and we can move the uh, lights up and down. Cabin instruments, cabin lights, strobe lights. The primary steering of the Pilatus is done by this stick. Here we have, can control all three rudders in any way. And uh, the communication is done here by pressing this button. Then we can talk to the airfield or we can talk to the controller. By this button over here, it's a very important button, it's the trim of the Pilatus. The Pilatus is a very, very sensitive airplane and needs to be trimmed very well. In this case, also there is a sign over here, warning set correct trim before takeoff. 
and this should always be maintained, the correct trim. Over here we have the rudder trim of the left and the right rudder and here is a flaps up, flaps down that we use for landing and for takeoff. We have here uh, the propeller control over here and this is our power lever which we can, like in a car, go faster, go slower and here is the last thing we have is the parking brake. It's more relevant.